and Jean-Serge Gagnon here would you like to buy my flower or or buy these great these great candles how do you get people to buy from you online what do you got to do so that people get to a point where they actually buy from you why would you buy these candles from me right what is the secret to building a business online and getting people to actually buy your stuff what are the tricks how do you do it online what's the difference with online versus offline and how do things how have things changed over the years to make that happen we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. Isn't it the most lovely flower you could ever get? Don't you just love these candles? These are candles. Look at that. They've got they've got the cool thing uh, the cool cover on it. It's like really nice colors. It actually smells really good. Come on, buy it. Buy it buy it why would you buy this from me right why would you buy this from me and that's what we're going to talk about today because everybody has something well not well I guess we all want to make some income online we all want to build a business online that's why you're here that's why you're listening to me that's why you follow me today we're going to talk about that basic thing that we struggle with so long online because we try to figure it out we try to do all these things we go all these mentors tell us different things and really it's really quite simple it's really quite simple but it's not necessarily easy and it's not something that's uh, you know a quick fix it takes a while to get to the point where people will actually buy from you so how does that happen right so if you've heard anything about online marketing attraction marketing personal branding you know that we often talk about the no like trust factor right so the no like trust factor is basically the amount of um the level of trust that a person has for you right so if you've been following me for uh, more more time than somebody else you probably will have a higher no like trust factor with me because you've you've seen me for a while you've gotten to know me and hopefully you like me and otherwise if you didn't like me you probably wouldn't be listening to me anymore you'd be you know listening to somebody else and that's the thing is that but how do you get there right and the, and here's the other thing once somebody has a high enough no like trust factor that's when they start buying things that you offer them right so you can't just offer things all the time you can't be that's why we talk about the 80 20 the 80 20 rule I mean you got to be posting things regularly but you can't be posting always stuff you're trying to sell so for me I try to post things about uh, teaching different things that have to do with online marketing with attraction marketing with personal branding with course creation and I try to offer things once in a while but not all the time and and like today we're talking about you know getting people to buy from you right so how do you get people to buy from you how would I get you to buy from me right so I might have a free ebook I might have um, a course a free course I might have a course that sells for a certain amount and there's 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 obviously there's the sales side of things right where there's the urgency and the scarcity those things that have to be in your in your sales copy when we talk about sales copy we're talking about the text on say a capture page or a funnel page or on your post on your ad there's like I said there's a lot of things there's a lot of things but the basics is that is no like trust factor your no like trust factor what is your no like trust factor how do you increase it how do you get to a point where it's high enough that people will buy from you I'm not sure what the number is right I can't tell you the number I can't tell you how much it's uh, because it probably depends on every single person depends on your market depends on your target market depends on what you're trying to sell depends on the value you have and that's another thing the value of whatever it is you're trying to sell has got to be much higher than the actual price you're selling it for right people have to perceive the value and how do you get people to perceive a higher value well you give them things 
that are better like one of my mentors right Russell Brunson's you see the books behind me there he talks about um the the he talks about the value ladder he talks about in, increasing the value of something by showing people things that you get as bonuses for it and he gives a really great example in one of the events he he hosted there was the there was these kids that he was asking them what you know what do you have to sell right what are you doing what are you doing like you know mowing lawns babysitting those kinds of things right there's there, these were 12 to 15 year old kids right and one of the girls was saying I have I, I'm a babysitter I babysit kids and you know I charge 10 20 whatever it is an hour uh which is the same as every other kid that babysits right but why would somebody want that babysitter instead of another one how do you increase your value to your service so she said well I'm gonna do all the dishes I'm gonna make sure they're in bed before you come home I'm gonna make sure that um, um if if you need to I'm even gonna vacuum uh, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that so you do all these extra things for free to increase the value of the babysitting service right so whenever a parent wants to like if you put a flyer up babysitting I'm gonna do this 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 and you put that flyer out in the neighborhood and parents pick up that flyer whenever they need a babysitter they're gonna be calling her first right they're not gonna call the other babysitters that are just gonna babysit and you're gonna get home and you're gonna have dishes to do and lots and the kids usually will just be sitting watching tv with the babysitter you don't want that babysitter right you want the one where you come home and you're relaxed you're you're that's it there's nothing else to do you just go to bed or you just relax before going to bed but that's it that's what you want right so that's the value ladder things you'll do on top of whatever so that's that's beside the point of no like trust factor that's one of the other ways or one of the other things that have to happen before you get sales right you got to have those things now how do you increase no like no like trust factor how do you do that the first thing is how do you get people to like you right how do you get somebody to like you in real life it's no different on social media or online it's basically the same thing except it's a different a different uh, vehicle if you will because if you're wanting people to like you right if you're wanting people to well let's even back up again if you want somebody to trust you they they need to like you so how do you get somebody to trust you <clears throat> you show them things to prove to them that what you're about is real right so for me I do these online videos I show you how to do these things I show you how to set up your your Aweber account I show you how to set up your WordPress blog I show you how to set up how to set up a course I show you how to to use a platform I show you how to integrate with Zapier I show you how to set up a bot a chat bot I show you all these things to show you that I know you know what I'm talking about I'm not making things up I'm actually showing you exactly how to do certain things and hopefully you start to trust me because you start to to see what I'm about but the thing is that if you don't know me if or you don't like me you won't really care about watching my videos and seeing what I do right so you to for you to trust me is one thing but what if you don't even like me you're not going to watch my stuff so you'll not trust me right you won't learn to trust me because you're not going to watch my stuff so how do I get you to like me is by by you seeing me often by you seeing me often so that eventually you decide to you decide to to look at my stuff to get to the point where you trust me right so I'm going backwards here and I'll, I'll explain to you in a second why but the thing is that you're going backwards uh, no, sorry I'm going backwards so you want people to trust you by seeing your stuff that you do by showing them that you're you have knowledge by showing that that you're worth listening to you want to do that and then you want them to get to like you by showing them things often so on social media if we're if we're talking offline let's say we're talking offline if you want people to trust you you have to be showing them things right so say we're in a um, um in a small community you know 100 years ago where they would have these uh, these these monthly fairs or something and you would have things to sell right well people would come to the fair every single month they would see you there and they would they would watch you do whatever it is you do like you know, say you're you sell knives we're going to show them that you can cut things with those knives those knives really work they do cut and you're gonna you're gonna show maybe that you had 
a couple of other couple other people are going to come and they say hey I bought these knives these are really the best knives ever that's social proof and it's the same thing online you got to have something that you got to have you showing things and then you got to have social proof that's probably one of the things I need to start to improve on is getting social proof getting people testimonials telling others what they think of me so that others that don't know me can see that and they can see oh that's pretty that guy knows what he's talking about this other person said so so you know they're not it's not like it must be true but when you have four or five people saying the same thing about somebody then you start to believe it right and that's one of the reasons why social proof is so important so then there's knowing you that's the part where you complete you continually you continually show stuff that's why I do videos and episodes and blog posts every single day because I want people to see me all the time I want and the people that see me all the time that's how they start to get to know me that's how they get to know you if you're posting regularly you can be posting on on just one social media platform you don't have to be doing like I'm doing I've been doing it for a long time so I'm able to do it really quickly on all the platforms I take my episodes and I create a blog post from it then I share that on different platforms I create uh, cut up videos I created cut up audios I share that on Amazon uh, Alexa I share that on uh, on iTunes for the audios and on SoundCloud I also share the video on YouTube I share a shorter video on Instagram on Facebook on LinkedIn and then I have all links that go back to my blog so that people get on my email list right and then I have a bot that's set up a chat bot that's set up on the blog so that that if people don't click the links to to subscribe the bot will actually ask them do you want to subscribe right there's be a conversation kind of thing right so I mean all that is all for the same goal is getting people on my list getting people to follow me so that they start to see me all the time so that they start to you know that's what you want to do you want people to see you all the time so that they eventually get to like you because they won't like you if they don't see you so that's why you have to have stuff that's constantly in there in their face if you will right on social media so that's why you got to be sharing everywhere you got to be and then then there's the whole reciprocity thing that happens on social media um, that's why if you don't have time to spend on social media if you can't spend like an hour a day on social media that's when you have to spend money to do ads because without without the constant activity the social media platform will not show your stuff to other people they're just going to put you in the list of this is somebody who doesn't engage I'm not going to bother showing their stuff to other people right so the only people that are going to see your stuff are people that are actually going to go to your profile then that's the thing so even if you post every day it doesn't matter if you're not engaging that's one of the things that's super important on social media you got to be engaging as well and if you're not then you're gonna have to spend money on ads and you know that could be okay you you might have more you might have more of a budget for it than you have time you might have more financial budget versus time budget right so don't 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 worry about that but the the secret is you got to be in front of people all the time so me I do I try to do a little bit of a uh, time on but I have I do have other other time I don't really have time to, to to spend focus time every single day on social media I wish I did because I know that would be a lot cheaper financially but I do ads as well right so I do these ads where I present my videos to a target a certain audience right so I don't know if you if you've ever done Facebook ads but in Facebook you just say okay I want to send I want to have this video shown to people who are interested in attraction marketing personal branding they've got a Facebook admin page they're interested in Tony Robbins Eric Worre and they're interested in personal development and social media marketing and you know whatever I just come up with this list of things like they they, they are interested in, in the, um the you know the Gary Gary V those kinds of things and then I show those people those videos or at least Facebook does it and then the people that watch the video are added to what's called a custom audience so every time a somebody watches the video it's added to this custom audience and eventually once the custom audience is big enough now it's around 7,000 I can take that audience and resend them other videos so I've, I set up you know 10 12 videos I just spend a dollar a day per video right but the thing is that it's still uh you know if you have 12 videos or 20 videos that's still 20 bucks a day right but you know over a, a month or two it really starts to make a difference and then people that have seen these videos they've seen all these videos 
in their newsfeed all the time they're like well this person must know what they're talking about if I'm seeing them all the time right that's definitely one of the it's a human thing where we, if we see something a lot we start to we start to connect with it we start to 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 question it we start to wonder about it we start to think about it and that's one of the thing reasons why these ads uh, work is because people are starting to see you all the time they're starting to see you regularly and the, it would be the same as you posting regularly and then doing an hour of of uh, engagement on social media right and I have other other episodes that talk about engagement and and show proof that engagement actually works you can actually go to my blog and search for say Facebook for example and you're going to find Facebook engagement videos you're going to find Facebook proof that engagement actually changes what happens because for example one for a week uh, a while ago I actually did a test I wanted to see if that was really true I was getting like almost no engagement on my posts and I'm like you know what they say that engagement makes a difference let's try it so I started engaging uh, for at least an hour I went to other people's profiles I went I just went in the news feed and commented I just went to my friends profiles I went to friends of friends profiles I I like commented and shared a few things here and there every single day for about an hour so I did that for a week or so maybe five days I'm not sure but after that just after a few days maybe four or five days all of a sudden I was getting a ton of engagement on my posts now you might be thinking well it's just because your post was good well maybe the post was good but it it's I it's not like I I haven't been doing any, any good posts at all right it's a lot to do with the fact that once you engage once you're engaging there's this reciprocity rule that the, uh, social media platforms have put in place which basically means if you're doing a then they're going to reward you b right so if you're doing a lot of engagement they're going to reward you with sharing your stuff more so they're going to share your stuff more on other people's uh, timelines which means that people are going to see your stuff in their timelines and that's why they engage because they see it and then what happens with the, and then there's the next level I guess if you will is the more engagement you get the more likely they're going to share your stuff on other on other people's uh, timelines so that's it kind of becomes a snowball effect so if you have you know a, a 10 and 10 comments on your post well they're going to show it to more people because they're they're saying oh well this post is getting engagement let's share it with others they're probably going to engage too so they get this kind of a, a, a rotation going on anyways so that that episode I've showed that the the difference between a week ago and there and the number of engagement I'm getting on all my posts was more right and that just kind of proves that the social media platforms do have reciprocity and in, in set up and that's one of the ways you can get people to know like and trust you right as they see more of you they'll start to know you more they'll start to see you they'll and then eventually after seeing you enough if you're the kind of person that they would normally like they're going to start to like you right and that's why it's important to have your content for your audience there's no sense in posting I don't know girls in bikinis if you're not trying to sell bikinis if you're not trying to sell weight loss maybe right if you got if you're trying to sell something that has to do with you know a, a bikini body then great yeah you could probably do that you you'll get sales you'll get things but if you're trying to sell I don't know uh candles right? if you're trying to sell candles there's no sense in showing girls in bikinis with the candles because yeah maybe you'll get uh you'll get tons of views because that's a very uh, attractive uh, kind of post if you will but the the sales won't come it won't be a person it won't really improve your sales that much because nobody ever thinks of girls in bikinis when they're buying candles right so I mean that's you got to think that's why you, ha you have to post for your audience you gotta okay who's your audience what are you selling create the content for it and make it make it um viewed by more and more people so whether you do it by engagement or you do it by ads either way you want to have your content shown regularly you can't just this is a thing I've done that before I've spent thousand probably twenty thousand in ads over the last five years right which is a lot <laughs> maybe not that much but anyways I've spent a lot of money and one of the things I did wrong in the beginning was that I would create an ad and I would send it off to a certain target market right 
and that's it I wouldn't I wouldn't re I wouldn't capture that audience I wouldn't re, there's retargeting there's all this other stuff if you send your ad to you know hundreds or thousands of people and none of them ever see you again you just basically threw money out the window right because those ads will have zero effect on you there's nobody they're never gonna they're, they're never gonna buy from you because they'll never get to know you the first thing that's the first rule of the no like trust factor is that they have to get to know you they need to get to know you who you are what you're about what's your mannerism you know me I talk a lot with my hands I I I, I don't smile a lot I should smile more right and and that's the thing so you get to know who that person is because you see them more and more and more and especially if you're doing videos I highly recommend you do videos because you really want people to know you you want them to see you to see who you are what you're about and all that right and so that's okay so that's the no like trust now once they like you again it's a whole process the whole the whole no like trust process is all about seeing you and you know eventually getting to know you so that they eventually trust you because they see stuff you do and they believe in stuff you do and then there's this extra little push right this extra little push of social proof which uh, by the way I need to work on so if you if you think that you you could give me a testimonial that would be fantastic I would really love that I would really appreciate it I'm actually putting together a a, a page where I'm going to have testimonials I'm going to be able to reuse those and I and I'm I'm going to be forever grateful I, of course I would put a link to your blog to your page to your whatever you want if you want your email your phone number there whatever it is you just tell me what you'd like to have in the in the testimonial area but that would be awesome if you send me a little video maybe a a 30 to 60 second video or so just talking about what you learn from me what you think um I represent you know because I do lots of things but it's all about online branding attraction marketing personal uh, uh, building businesses online so if you talk about that and just send me a, an email or send me a link in a in a social media platform that's fantastic if you can't find uh how to contact me just go to my blog jeansergegagnon.com and there's a contact uh, link in the menu there so yeah so anyways that's that's the, the the tip of the iceberg is social proof you need some social proof to have people really get on the on the I trust this person right and when I look at things I did like for example I got a TikTok course that I did with an influencer uh, Mayan Gordon she's got 2 million followers now on TikTok she used to have 1.7 million and but the thing is that she is somebody who knows how to build TikTok accounts I'm learning how to use TikTok how and building it a little bit I got this this viral video I just did a couple of days ago that got 3,000 over 30k sorry 30k 30,000 31,000 or 32,000 now I'm not sure but you know it's the process of learning all these different things and that course I have is a course I put together with her and we're working together we did it together I've, I, I'm not exactly sure why I'm I'm bringing that up I, I I forget that I wanted to say something about the no like trust um yeah social proof yeah so there's people that have bought that course and those people bought it because they believed in Maya and in me they knew us they, that's how they got on on there they figured out they 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 knew that we knew what we're talking about but they can tell others hey these people know what they're talking about right and that's that's how social proof works you get people to use your stuff then they can tell others how your stuff is what they what it helped them with that causes social proof and that gets people to know like and trust you even higher level of know like trust and then the next thing of course is like I said is the copy on your uh, capture pages on your ads that kind of stuff you want to have something that causes an urgency and you want to so you want to increase the value of whatever it is you're selling by offering special things like maybe a free ebook maybe a free checklist maybe a half hour coaching with you or or help on the on a zoom call or maybe free email access back and forth uh, questions you know whatever it is you want to offer them to increase the value of your product 
and then you want to add urgency and scarcity to your offer you want to say well we only have 10 or we only have 50 of these and then the price goes up or you want to say this is only until midnight you know etc right that kind of stuff so I'm sure you've seen it a lot online so that's really it's important to do those things and um and yeah so that's how you do how, how you get people to buy from you by in, by increasing your no like trust factor your no like trust factor where people will buy your candles from you because they know that you know what you're talking about with candles or maybe maybe they'll buy your flowers maybe they'll buy your flowers they'll they'll buy these flowers or these these candles from you because they know like and trust you because they love you really they love you they they get to a point where they love you and they believe in you and they and they're they're willing to pay something extra because of the connection they feel to you all right hopefully you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.